Jay with Rocky Mountain. We're going to get some tips on installing a Tusk oversized front brake rotor. Uh, it's a great addition to most bikes. Um, gives a lot of added braking power. We have a Honda CRF a 450, a 2013. Um, same for most all the current CRFs, um, CRF Xs, any of those Hondas, all similar tips we're going to give you on how to install this on your bike. The front rotor, as you see, is, uh, is oversized, very high quality, simple deal. You just bolt it onto your stock wheel. We'll go over some tips on that. With the uh, carrier, this allows you to move your caliper back to the proper position to make up the difference of the larger rotor. Okay, so we'll start by take, removing the stock um, front brake guard here. Um, you're not going to be able to run this um, with the oversize, and we don't run them regardless anyway, even with our stock one. Um, cuts down on cooling, just kind of gets in the way, harder to wash, and doesn't really going to stop you from any major rocks anyway. So you get this out of the way. Because there's a little cap right out here that gets to the brake bolt. They call them a Lunas cap. Cap. I guess Brian Lunas had one of these brake pins fall out one day. So you remove this little cap. Good idea to keep grease on this cap so it doesn't gall up. Okay, so the front brake pin just has a Allen bolt in here. Simply loosen it like so. I like to loosen it just about most of the way like that. While it's all on the bike, so it's easier to do. And then you have two 10 millimeter head bolts right here. So now we pull the caliper off. Right now it can be a good idea to spread the brake pads apart a little bit. Be careful not to damage your pads. Just a little slight deal in here with a nice flat screwdriver. We'll remove the brake pin all the way. Just like so. We pull out our pads. In this case, stock Honda pads are still in good shape and we'll just reuse these stock pads. So now we pull our carrier off. So we're going to go switch these components over to our new carrier, the rubber grommet here, and our, and our guide pin. We're going to switch those over to the other pieces, and while we're doing that, we'll pull the front wheel off. Pimpin, I got some soft jaws in my vise here, so I'm not going to damage anything on your stock carrier. So you just remove this, like so. Then you can clean off the existing thread lock. Are you ready? So I'll pull off our rubber grommet guide piece. And it goes right back and it just pops right in. Just like so. Now with our new fancy piece, I'll grab me a fancy uh, paper towel here. Just to keep from marring up our good finish here and to install our new pin. Little red Loctite on the threads. You can use the liquid stuff or the paste, either one. So we're good and tight, ready to go. Okay, so we're going to remove the stock rotor. Um, it's a little easier with two guys if you have it. If you don't have any friends, then just do it by yourself. So you have your buddy Cody, swing the T-handle, you grab the nut. And uh, motocross is a kind of an individualistic sport, so sometimes you don't have friends and then you have your wife come out and hold it for you. Okay, so we make sure our surfaces are all clean, no damage anywhere, all right. and we just simply line up our holes, simple as that. Reinstall the, the nuts, uh, stock bolts and nuts. Uh, no need for thread locker on these uh, with the locking nuts on the stock. Just check your owner's manual for proper torque specs and tighten up. Okay, so we've got our wheel installed with our uh, oversized rotor now on here. Uh, it's a good idea to contact clean off the rotor, get off any debris on here so it doesn't stick to your pads. So with our caliper, just a little bit of grease on our pin here, and a little bit of grease in here. Allow everything to slide well. We grab our caliper and install just like so. We're ready to install our pads. Okay, so we have our brake pads. In, in this case, we have a brand new bike, so we're going to re reinstall the stock ones. In most cases, you're probably going to want to put brand new pads on here at the same time. So you install our pads. We make sure that our little spring plate is still here and our guide plate in the back are there. Just a little bit of grease 
on our brake pin. Just a very little bit, just to help it guide in. So we're tight. Snug it up about, about like so. Just a tiny bit of grease on our little brake pin cap here. This keeps dirt away from getting into your, the Allen bolt head of the brake pin. Tighten this up. Don't get it too tight. This, this, these things don't really fall out. Just hold them open over the rotor. You'll feel a tiny bit more pull on your brake cable, but you should be able to keep it in the same spot, no problem. Okay, so at this point, tighten our brake bolts back up. Like so, back and forth. Got free movement. As we check our brake, make sure everything's clean and we're ready to go ride.